Hi besties! Michelle here. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another weekend vlog. I got my little little pigtails, little braids going on. I haven't done this in so long, but my hair has been giving me such a hard time that I need to find some way to control it. And I definitely need to cut it because it looks like a witch's broom. It's really fucking gross. But yeah, happy Friday! We finally made it to the freaking weekend. I feel like this week has been such a long week and I've been busy. I've been super freaking busy like constantly filming and editing and this week still has come by super slow. So I'm really excited to film this weekend vlog because it is going to be a little different. I did get some feedback. Um, I love when you guys give me feedback uh, even though I am very sensitive and I take sometimes I take constructive criticism and I take it to the heart when I really shouldn't. But one of the criticism, one of the critiques that I got because I'm always talking about how my weekend vlogs never do well and they're usually my favorite ones to film but um someone told me that you know basically they're a little boring like i don't really film actually going out it's more of like the before and the after it's not so much like in the moment so instead of filming like one day i'm just gonna film the entire weekend and see how that goes see if you guys like that better and like really bring you out in the things that i do and really take out my camera not just me getting ready me taking a few drinks and then seeing you in the morning when i'm hungover so yeah, so I'm just gonna bring you guys along with me. Literally, I'm gonna try to like have my camera with me throughout the entire day, throughout the entire weekend, and we'll see how it goes. So, first thing I'm gonna do, I should probably clean my room. I should keep my braids in still, right? Because I'm not doing anything. Also, I've started to journal. I feel like my camera is very low. I've started to journal. I feel like that's too high. Yee! usually i write like in my notes on my phone but um i was talking to one of my one of my bffs about journaling and stuff like that and she's like no the whole point of journaling is to write like in a notebook but i hate my handwriting and it just kind of frustrates me to like actually write out and last night i just started because i couldn't go to sleep and um i couldn't stop <laughs> i couldn't stop and it felt so good to just write everything down in a journal and just my thoughts and just manifest in my journal and just write things that I want as if I already have them and it's just like this like oh where you just dump out like all your feelings and I loved it that I even woke up this morning and I went and I sat outside in my backyard with my dogs and I journaled again and I feel like I want to turn that into a healthy daily routine of me journaling once a day i want to do in the morning and before i go to sleep because before i went to sleep it actually helped me a lot with actually falling asleep i think because i just wrote like all my feelings down and everything that was in my mind in the journal that once i got it out it was already like out of my system and i just fell right asleep i definitely recommend it i would always hear about people journaling but i'm like i don't know if i can do that i don't know if i have like the mindset to focus and just like write things down and I've realized that I definitely can and it feels incredible. It feels incredible, incredible, incredible. I love it so much. And I'm really excited to look back at this in the future when I do get the things that I truly want and desire and dream of when I look back in the journal of me around these times. You guys should definitely get yourself a little book. See, mine says dream big on it. I know, corny, right? But it's my little dream. Dream journal! You ruined my dream journal! No, I did not! Where is that from? another movie quote you guys i literally i'm a walking tiktok vine movie quote for everything that i think of i'm always saying it i need to clean my room i need to get myself organized and yeah the journal honestly made me feel really hopeful and really positive about the future and i just know that everything is gonna work out and it's divine timing baby i've been craving the sola bread everything bagels these are seven at carbs each but they're so freaking filling and so delicious i think they just came out with a blueberry flavor bagel i need to get those right away so these are frozen i like to keep my keto bread frozen because i have so many <laughs> so yeah i keep my bread frozen i'm just gonna let her defrost for a little bit and then i just stick it in the microwave to be honest and it works perfectly fine i don't know if i want like a cold sandwich or like a hot like bacon egg and cheese i don't know i don't know i don't know i don't know okay so i think what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna make a sandwich but i thought we had turkey 
and I wanted like a cold turkey. Ah, uh, I wanted like a cold turkey sandwich. I wanted a cold turkey sandwich, like deli sandwich with a bagel, but we don't have any. And I don't want ham. So I think I'm gonna make like a soft scrambled egg, eggs, and do like a spam and egg sandwich with cheese. And I also put some slices of ham in the air fryer because I think I also want to put it in the sandwich because it's I love air fried ham. I love the texture of it. My thing with making bacon, egg, and cheeses at home is that you're never going to get it to taste as good as like a restaurant or fast food bacon, egg, and cheese. It just tastes homey. I don't like homey breakfast sandwiches. They just don't taste as good. There's just like something about it that's just i don't know and i still make it anyway and i can guarantee you that it's not going to be as good as i think it is because it never really hits so i don't even know why i'm doing this i'm just gonna hope for the best i just gonna hope for the best i don't know i never really my bacon egg and cheeses are always all right but it's not like you know when you take a bite of like your first bacon egg and cheese from like mcdonald's denny's fucking I hop a Cuban deli. I don't fucking know a Cuban deli, a Cuban bakery. A, I don't know. It's just not the same. All right, now it's time to put the sandwich together. So we're gonna do some mayonnaise. And look how our soft scrambled eggs came out, you guys. I'm proud of this one. I'm very proud. So we're gonna put our eggs. Our soft scrambled eggs. Hello. And we're gonna put a slice of Kobe Jack cheese. Did this go back? No, I think it's fine. I just don't know why the fuck this corner looks this way. And we're gonna put a slice of Kobe Jack just like that. We're gonna put our Spam. We got two little super thinly sliced pieces of Spam. Ham for extra crunch because I like it. And we're gonna close that bitch up. Oh, bitch, I hope I don't go out today. Look at that. Look at her. Okay, this one came out good. I know I was talking shit before about my sandwiches, but... You know what I did differently today? I didn't toast the bagel. I usually toast it. And I did soft scrambled eggs. I feel like sometimes I overcook my eggs. Oh my God, soft scrambled eggs are so fucking good. Oh, girl. Here are my children. Here you go, honey. So did you guys know that we recently found out that Bruno is deaf? He does not hear anymore. If you guys don't know, he is 12 years old. We've had him since he was a puppy. I got him for my 15th birthday. And yeah, I think he's happier, honestly, with not hearing any of our bullshit. Because he's a grumpy ass old man. I'm not even going to lie to you guys. Okay, fine. I'll give you another one for being nice. But, um, yeah, wait. And here's Miss Summerlicious. I think she's like four. I want to say. But she definitely... Ow! Fuck! She definitely keeps them young. But yeah, these are my babies. I usually hang out with them all day. Y'all ready for the weekend? They love the weekend because it's always crazy in this house. It's always crazy in this house on the weekend. I just want to say that that breakfast sandwich was the best breakfast sandwich that I have ever made in my entire life. And I was just talking shit about it. I think it's because what I said last time, I sometimes overcook my scrambled eggs and I toast a what was frozen piece of bread so it gets extra hard and it doesn't taste good. This time I just put the frozen bread in the microwave. That was so good. I wish I could have another one. It was so delicious. I am not, I, I can't get over it. I can't get over it. It was perfect. Mom was having the snack and she's having the lunch. <laughs> this is what I usually do. I usually just bother them. Look at that. You jealous? You don't let me love you like this. Oh. You want some camera time? No, you're so handsome too. You're so handsome too. Oh, oh. You have to... <laughs> Brunies, what are you doing? What are you doing, honey? I love you the most, but you don't let me love you. 
It just gets, makes me sad because sometimes when I go to hug him from the back, he gets startled because he can't hear me coming. But sometimes he feels me coming, I guess. <sighs> Ew! Girl got her slobber all over me. Girl, she just put her ass in his face. Hello! 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 Acabo de llegar al trabajo, vuelto una mierda de mamao. La trencita, mira. Pero el pelito por aquí está como que poca jonta. I know, but I wouldn't say No, please. No. No. Hi, besties. I'm going out. Super last minute. This lighting in my room doesn't do me any justice at all anywhere. So I've decided. There we go. Um, look at the braids. The braids did it cute. I was not going to go out at all. But then I knew I was going to have FOMO. So. Super last minute. I love how my makeup came out. I love how my hair looks. And I love the outfit. OOTD. But I mean. I feel real cute. I feel super cutie. I don't have any boob tape. So I literally tied my shirt in the back with a scrunchie. Hopefully nobody can see it. And if they do, I don't care. I'm also going out with no nails. I'm a little stressed. But it's fine. Because we look. Cute. We look super cute. I have to get the fuck out of here. I'm late as always. Hi guys. I feel really pretty today and I feel really confident which makes me really happy. Honestly, those little two and a half pounds have done a lot because I feel less bloated and I feel light and I feel good and I have food in my tummy. I just came to pick up Miss Lorena and I'm going to try my hardest to make this vlog a lot more entertaining for you guys so we're gonna go to dinner right now and then we're gonna go out i don't know i don't really know what the plans are this is all really lorena's plan so Eek! i'm so happy because i feel light and i feel good every time i've been going out recently i just have so much anxiety like really bad anxiety that like lorena and my friends notice because i feel so like and so like bloated and nasty that now i feel light and like i'm fucking ready to party bitch so i got a complaint that my recent going out vlogs are a little boring because it's always the before and the after never the during so now i have to take my camera everywhere oh shit are they ready i don't think they are ah! all right we look so fucking cute see y'all later <laughs> Record more there, y'all got wait it. Wait till you see us with Johnson. So, wait, that's real, guys. Right that's there, the guy, in the, the guy in that elevator stayed in the elevator with us, um, even though his car was in our lower, a lower level because he didn't want us to be in an elevator with a creepy ass guy. Okay. Men, take notes. Okay, all right, so we're, we're that's what y'all should be doing. Friends. Wait. Wait, our car's not here. Wait, this is three. We were four. Four! This is three! Just take us up to the car? 
Yeah, what? Yeah, why the fuck would you make us walk? Oh, you hear ding, boom, boom, ding, 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 ding. Bing, bang, boom, bing, ding, ding, bang, dang, dang, ding, bang, ding, boom, 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 ding, ding, ding. Welcome to. That car just got a. Why? What the fuck is all this writing on your car? You trying to sell your car? No. Um. She's changing. Outfit change, bitch. Outfit change. Outfit motherfucking change. Hi, friend. Hi, dad. Hi, mom. Hi, mom. Hello. Hello. We're doing great. <laughs> we got it all. Imagine. It's a girls' night again. It's the same girls you saw last week. It's the trio, bitch. It's the trio, oh, okay. bitch. I'm, 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 okay, girls. can I curse on this it's one? The, yeah, you can. It's a, okay, it's the Powerpuff Girls, bitch. What the? It's the Powerpuff Girls again, we bitch. We got yeah, a message. We out here. We going to space. Because yes. okay. uh, we got a personal We're invitation. We're going to space. By the fucking DJ. By the DJ. Yeah. Uh, you're, well, you're all welcome. Tell me you're from Miami. Without, Without Miami. telling me you're from Miami. Period. Wow. Honestly, good for honestly, you. We're That's doing, a good we're ass man. We're do, yeah. No, no, no. You know, honestly, she's honest, shout out to your man. Her she, man is honestly, honestly great. She honestly, has, honestly, ten out of ten. Him. She has a needle him. in the haystack of a man. Yeah, dead I ass. Do. Yes, I do. She does. Honestly, dead he's ass. Amazing, and I love him so much. Ten out yes. of ten. He's great. Yes. It's not real, no yeah. panada, but like he is honestly great. Let's you do your thing. No le because importa. He because he semi, trusts her. He semi trusts me, but he does trust me. He trust yes. like like he trusts her as you fucking should. Like of course. And what guys don't realize is like the more you trust her and the more you give her that freedom, the, better the, relationship the more is. she's gonna be loyal to you because. Yes, and I'm loyal to. You're, you're loyal as it is, but uh, of course, hundred percent. But what I'm saying is that like. The more you give her that freedom, the more you in a relationship, the more exactly. you give the other person freedom to be their own person. And him too, I give him that freedom. Yeah, too. exactly. As yes, as I you trust him. as you should. Yep. If, you, if if the tables were That's turned, honestly, how it should be each and every single time. If the tables were turned, she would do the same thing too. So. Yep. That's how and it I should do. be, and I do. And that's I always get, do. That's it's, how you get thicker. That that's how you that's how you keep a good relationship, as you should. You know what? Go on, babe, as you should. Mm. Bad bitch things, Mira. Bad bitch club. club. What's Black up? Club. We don't have any. We don't have. You were supposed to refill my holy water. I have, I have holy, holy water. water. I have holy no, water. No, water. no, 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 no. Me and Lorena, every time we do something, we do. We every time we're we always have savage holy shit. Water, we always, yeah. we always. Oh I, I have, I have in this my car. Not, we're not even joking. Yeah, we're not I even swear, joking. Yeah. We really do put no. holy water on. If you guys haven't realized in our vlog, what's working? From our festival, something's working. From our festival, <laughs> she our, said something's working. Our festival vlogs, I kid you not, Janelle, we Don't, always have holy our, water, and we always just throw it into the before. I love it. I before love we it. head out on the road, and it goes great. I love it. Anything you need, girl. Yeah. So we're going to space. It. I'm gonna sneak in my camera at space. Y'all gonna see some real shit. But today, today. Yes. but today, you guys are gonna. You know what? But today, but today, you guys are gonna see the real deal. So I'll see y'all in there, hoes. Um, bye. Ciao. Oh, fuck. Kiki, Kiki is all your fault, man. You look so fucking cute. You look so. Oh, 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 oh. oh. It's a horse. She looks they good. Oh, it. oh. <laughs> she look, look at her. Get into it, bitch. Get into it. La Fuerza. She's a witch, y'all. She's a witch. Tell people that. Let's do it. That's not a Windex bottle. <laughs> oh my god, wait. <laughs>
bam, bam, bam. Wow, you're incredible. I need you, I need you to drink that now. Así mismo, de una. Bing, 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 bing. Thank you so much. That's how we do it here, baby. It is what it is. It is what it is. It is what it is. Oh my God! Saturday. Oh, wow. It's well, Saturday. Technically, it's Saturday. Yes, yes, Saturday. Right. You know? We are reporting here in Miami with the jefa. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look Say hello. Hola, mami. ¿Cómo tú estás? Hola, hello. No suelta. Hello? Who is hello. this? Who is this? Who is this? I don't know who this hello? is. I don't know. Who We're at Space. No, FLP01. We're at the number that you have called. It's not a We're in the tunnel. Bye -bye. We're in the tunnel. About the transport. We're at Space, yo. At motherfucking Space. If you know, you know. We in this bitch. We finna get crunked. Another I one. The foot. Some Philippe. Let Let us. Oh, look, Lauren is there. We. Agua para la seca. I'm gonna get them walking over here. This has been a mission. Suelta, suelta, que la vida seca, ma. Así mismo, mi hija. Me la pica pa' toda. Look who it is, friend.
This is what we do, baby. That's so crazy. The last two standing. Back. But. Back. I've had like three panic attacks thinking that I lost my bag, but he's had my bag the entire time. <laughs> This is an update. I look crazy. I genuinely look insane. And it's cause... Oh my fucking god. I look crazy. Space here is just on some other shit. You guys wanted more footage? Y'all got it. So here it is. I look crazy. I feel insecure now cause I feel so ugly. And my zipper broke. And then like my friend. My zipper broke, so my jeans have been like untied this entire time. But you hear on the side? Good. I got my bestie, and that's all that matters. I love her so much. I miss you. What the fuck are you doing? I literally. Hi, besties. Yesterday was a lot. <laughs> You guys wanted a more entertaining vlog? Here it is. You got it. I can't believe this day's already over. I've just been doing nothing all day, to be honest. My body is like super fucking sore, but my wing stop is approaching. I ended up getting wing stop. I really, 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 really wanted carbs so bad today. I do not have a hangover, which is good. I almost genuinely feel like i almost didn't even drink yesterday so i feel great i feel good no hangover anxiety no nothing so yeah i'm just waiting for my wing stop to get here because i'm pretty fucking hungry and i've been craving wing stop like crazy so yeah let's go get our fucking food we got the goods y'all we got garlic parm and louisiana rub with some carrots and a Diet Coke that tastes like shit. This took almost like, it felt like two fucking hours. I'm so excited for this though. Happy Sunday, besties. Uh, I still have some of my makeup on from Friday. I know, I know, I know. I'm having a Red Bull. I just wanted something carbonated, but diet sodas have been tasting so fucking nasty. So, and to also give me energy because I have a lot of things to do today because I have to get myself ready for the week. I denied two invitations to go out today and I really want to, but I have so many things to do. I have to clean my room. I have to write down video ideas for the week. Yeah, I don't know about you guys, but this is how my room always ends up looking by the end of the weekend if I go out. I don't know if you guys can relate, but I'm not proud of it. It always ends up like this. My clothes when I get home, my shoes, PJs, towel, my, my gallon of water that I keep next to me while I'm sleeping because I'm super dehydrated. Makeup remover, makeup remover wipe, my watch is on the floor. My makeup from when I was getting ready, another water bottle and the Red Bull I'm having right now. It's a pretty gloomy day. Uh, my friends are on a boat, but I don't feel too bad because the weather is shit. So I'm like, but whatever. I also have to clean my closet. I'm so not proud of this, but <laughs> you know what? No, I almost don't even want to show you guys my closet. It's bad. Um, <laughs> anyway, so as you can see, I have uh, a lot to do. I have a lot to do, I have a lot to do, which is why I started drinking this Red Bull. Now, even though Red Bull, honestly, you guys, I don't know if anyone else can relate, but Red Bull makes me sleepy. Literally, we'll have a Red Bull, and then I'm like, I can go for a nap every single time. I have a Red Bull, a sip of a Red Bull, and it automatically triggers something in me to want to go to sleep. So yeah, that's what we're going to do. I think I'm going to go downstairs and... Um, make myself another one of those breakfast sandwiches with the sola bagels because i can't stop thinking about it so yeah mm, i'm gonna go bake myself a fucking breakfast sandwich i'm gonna go do it 
Hi besties! Hi hoochies! I'm actually in my dad's car. I don't... How am I gonna set you guys up and where? Yeah, I'm in my dad's car because my dad's car was blocking my car and my mother's car. Uh, yeah, I was gonna go out today. Uh, I got convinced and then something happened and um, I decided for me to not go just to avoid any issues um, with my ex. So uh yeah i just i like to avoid things and i'm like you know what maybe this was a sign and i know i made a promise to myself to try to avoid going on on sundays as much as possible and i've done a very very good job at it may i put out there but obviously i know sometimes i am going to want to go out unless I don't like going out on Sundays unless it's like a boat day, a pool day, like something like that. Like, but benders, ben, benders are a complete no. We don't do benders. At, is there something? It's on my camera. I thought there was something in my hair, but it's like a little stain in my camera. Um, no benders anymore on Sunday, that's for sure. But if I want to go out sometimes, it's fine. Uh, but yeah, I've been doing this for like about a month now, and we've been doing very well. And that's why I've been having such productive weeks. But today I was just going to go and hang out with my cousin for a little bit. And, uh, yeah, just, it wasn't in the cards today for me to go out, so I'm just gonna fully stay in. No, I have not cleaned my room yet. Uh, I've just hung out with my parents downstairs because my dad was making some soup, and my mom was just hanging out in the living room, and we were watching music videos, and that's why I got pumped to go out. Um, but yeah, and then I made another breakfast sandwich. You guys know, like I told you guys, I've been obsessed with Spam lately. And now, since I've perfected making the perfect bacon, egg, and cheese, I made the best. I made, again, the sandwich that I had on Friday morning with the Sola everything bagel bread and the soft scrambled eggs and the Spam and the ham and the cheese and the mayonnaise. And it was incredible. Me and my dad split it because... Every time I cook something, my dad always has to share it with me because he loves the way I cook. So we shared that. Um, I didn't take down my camera because it ran out of battery from Friday. So I didn't take it downstairs. Plus, I was just hanging out with my parents. It was literally nothing exciting. Usually, usually this is how my weekends go. I go out. Um, my neighbors are watching me right now. They're walking right next to me. Usually, I'll go out on Friday and sleep all day Saturday. And then on Sunday is family day that we just all hang out together in the house, like in the living room and in the kitchen. So, yeah, uh, I went to Publix. Uh, I did some shopping because I was a little, like, heated up, riled up earlier. And I was like, you know what brings me peace? Grocery shopping. So I got a few things. Um, I'm going to do the grocery haul here because my dad is in the kitchen still cooking because he cooks on Sunday uh, meals for the entire week for like his lunch and stuff. And there's everyone is in the living room and we can't do that. But I didn't want to go without doing this grocery haul. So I'm just going to do it here. No biggie. I got Monterey Jack cheese. Monterey Jack cheese is my favorite cheese of all time because I found out that Chipotle uses Monterey Jack cheese and Chipotle cheese is my favorite cheese ever so if you guys did not know yeah the cheese that they use at Chipotle is Monterey Jack and the one from Publix tastes exactly like it I got a Berry's fruit cup I love these because they're small and the fruit doesn't go to waste because I'm the same person who like I get obsessed with fruit I have like a little bit one day then the next day I'm over it and then the fruit goes bad. So I love that Publix does like these little mini ones. So it has strawberries, blueberries, strawberries, blueberries, raspberries, and blackberries. Uh, I got these energy shot drinks for my brother because I know he likes them. And he just started working at a new job. One is vanilla, one is white chocolate because I know he enjoys them. And I like doing cute little acts of kindness for my family when I see something that they like. And I'm like that with everyone, with my friends and my family. Like... As soon as you say one day, like, I like this, I want this, I love this, this is my favorite thing, it will, it's like, it will be automatically in my brain, and every time I see it, I have to get it for them. So, I realized that my brother loves these Starbucks energy drinks, so I got them for him, because I remember that he liked it. Uh, I got, I'm just gonna wait till my neighbors leave because this is making me very uncomfortable. Okay, I got this TJI Friday's spinach and artichoke dip because I have been seeing 
spinach and artichoke dip freaking everywhere literally everywhere like on instagram and stuff and i wanted to make my own but i kind of wanted to have this today with like some lavash chips so i wasn't in the mood to cook so i just got this one and you just stick it in the microwave and there you go spinach and artichoke dip uh i got my dad some rum raisin ice cream because i heard him talk about how he can go for a rum raisin ice cream earlier today so I got it for him as a little surprise. Whipped cream because I haven't had whipped cream in so long and this is literally my favorite keto little dessert. Quick, easy, and it takes like the sweet craving that you have in your mouth and I'm a person who every single time after I eat, I need something sweet and just a few little things of heavy whipping, of heavy whipping cream, of whipped cream and I am good to go, baby. I got these crispy fried onions because they're so delicious it's literally my favorite dirty keto but you can make it work it literally makes any salad like pop out or if you're making like a bake or something and you like crunch it up and you put it on top it tastes so freaking incredible and also i was thinking about putting it on top of like my connie salad since uh, instead of using obviously like tempura flakes or like breadcrumbs, I can maybe use this. So it's 45 calories, three net carbs for two tablespoons, which I think is pretty good. It's not that bad. Um, I got myself some ice cream. I got the enlightened peanut butter cookie and brownie dough ice cream. This one right here, I haven't tried it. So I wanted to try something new. I usually get rebel, but, um, yeah, I just wanted to get something new. There was really nothing else behind it. And then I got my favorite low-carb tortillas. They actually look bigger. I think they got bigger. Look how big these are. Look how big these tortillas are. So these are La Anderita carb counter um, tortillas. And they're 45 calories and 4 net carbs. Like, you cannot get anything better than that. And they're white tortillas. They're not even wheat tortillas. They taste incredible. These are my favorite of all time. I got some drinks. I think I'm still dehydrated from all the alcohol I had on Friday. Uh, so, like, every, every drink I see, I'm like, mmm, yum! I got some brisk zero sugar. I freaking love brisk iced tea i think it's the best iced tea ever it's fucking delicious my favorite is the raspberry the raspberry brisk oh my goodness it's incredible i hope and pray that maybe one day brisk will come out with a raspberry tea zero but i'll i'll settle for this one for the lemon tea from brisk and it's zero sugar and for the whole thing it's zero net carbs and 10 calories and it tastes exactly the same it doesn't even taste like you know like like diet sodas and diet juices and stuff like taste the same as the like original thing but they still have that like diety taste aftertaste this one doesn't this one literally tastes like the real thing which is kind of sketchy but it's fine uh i got some gatorade this is the cool blue zero gatorades i love the zero gatorades i think they taste good they do have that little weird aftertaste but nonetheless they still taste pretty good. So I got Cool Blue. I haven't tasted the Cool Blue. I've tasted the, the other one, the light blue one, but not the darker blue one. I got a blue and a red one. Uh, yeah. I got my favorite peppers ever, pe pepper pepperoncinis. Pepperoncinis. I literally eat these out of the jar as a snack. Delicious. Literally with any meal, you just have it on the side and... Ooh, baby. I got on G Hughes honestly needs to sponsor me because I literally what sauce have I not tried from them? I have like two of their wing sauces, a million of their barbecue sauces. I still haven't even tried the yum yum sauce yet. <gasps> That's what I forgot at the grocery store. I forgot to get some rice cauliflower, but it's fine. I got G Hughes sugar free dipping sauce. This is a honey mustard. So delicious so freaking good this is my favorite and it's only one net carb for two tablespoons and 20 calories this stuff is fucking delicious um yeah i had to get a new one because i left my other one brand new bottle at my ex's almost like six months ago and i haven't gotten it back um i left a whole bunch of things at my ex's apartment at our old at my old apartment basically my old apartment is like storage with all my shit because i bought 70% of the things there, but we'll talk about that another day Anyway, but yeah, that's the tea on that a lot of my things um, that I purchased are still in that apartment But when I do move out, I will be picking them back up and that's including all the kitchen stuff like forks knives plates bowls cup 
cups, shot glasses, furniture. I just, the list just goes on and on, but that's my storage unit for now. Anyway, uh, next I got some Sola granola because Sola is now at Publix. They only had the vanilla almond. I like the straw, I think it's strawberry. They have blueberry and strawberry vanilla, which is my personal favorite, but this is the only one they had, and I've been dying for some granola to have in my acai bowls because I've been having plain acai bowls and I miss the crunch of the granola. So I got some granola and it's four net carbs per serving and it tastes delicious. Sola granolas, Sola granolas are delicious. I got some brown sugar swerve. I got some brown sugar, I got some brown sugar swerve because I've never tried it and I've been wanting to get it for so long but it is a little pricey but i was like you know what today fuck it I'm, I'm just gonna splurge and i'm gonna get it so yeah i don't really have a recipe in mind but it's brown sugar and brown sugar is delicious and i decided to get it i don't know maybe to put it in my coffee maybe to make some desserts i don't know but i got it <laughs> uh i got some sprite zero because sprite is the best soda in the world and i've been craving sprite like crazy and all we have in the house is like Pepsi Zero and Coke Zero. And for some odd reason, ever since Friday, sodas haven't been tasting the same. And Sprite is all reliable. It will always taste good. And then lastly, it's just the other Gatorade I got, the Zero Fruit Punch. And some sweet peppers because I've been craving mini peppers with cream cheese and everything but the bagel seasoning because it's so incredibly delicious it's the ah! no anyway the camera fell but yeah that was my little Publix haul in the car my Sunday turned into a productive one because the money that I spent on grocery shopping I probably would have spent on drinks and parking going out so I'd say it was a good decision to end up not going out because look at all the shit I got Look at all the shit I got! Hi! <laughs> you look so funny. Why? Okay? In your little rocking chair? Hi, honey. Hi, honey. My prince says hello! Summer! ¿Qué pasa con esa patica? Do you do this? Déjame no joda. Look at that side eye! Why are you giving me a side eye? Why are you giving me a side eye? So I just fried up a low carb tortilla and I'm having my brisk zero sugar tea. And here we have our spinach dip. We're keeping it pretty simple today, honestly, because I don't feel like making anything else. And here we have our spinach dip. Again, I used this one. TGI Friday spinach dip. I just had it. Uh, I'd give it like a solid seven out of ten, maybe six and a half. It's all right. Chill Sundays in the Alvarez residence. This needs something, but I don't know what. Alrighty, guys, and to end this vlog and this day, this weekend, I am just having some. Wendy's, super simple. I've been craving Wendy's burgers like crazy. So I just got two Junior Bacon Cheeseburgers with no bun and no ketchup, even though she said it doesn't come with ketchup, but I could have sworn it did. I think it's their big burgers that come with ketchup, but anyway, it's only a little mini patty, a slice of cheese, tomato, bacon, and lettuce. So I got two. Also, I got a side of this ghost pepper ranch. It's freaking delicious. You guys should definitely try it. I don't think it's really that spicy, but it's super tasty. We also got a diet ginger ale because I don't know why I was just craving ginger ale. Uh, it's super delicious. And I'm having some leftover capri caprese, caprese, I'm, I know I'm saying it wrong, uh, salad. And yeah, that's what I'm going to have to eat. End of my day. It's kind of late. Oh my God, it's 10.30. It's 10.30 and... I took a nap a little earlier because I wasn't feeling too well. So yeah, now I kind of have a little bit of energy. I'm telling you guys, every single time I have a Red Bull, it throws me into this weird sleep that like, but like, ese sueño that feels so good that it literally gets me like, woo, and I just knock out. That's about it for today's video. That's about it for today's vlog. Let me know what you guys thought about this type of vlog now that I tried to vlog a lot more since I got some feedback saying that they were kind of boring. So... 
I think I think I did a pretty good job. I think I did a pretty good job. And I had a really good weekend. I'm so excited for this week. It's officially a Virgo season. Comment down below if you are a fellow Virgo like me. My birthday is September 20th. I am, I want to say excited, but I don't have any plans. I don't think I'm going to have any big plans since I'm just trying to save my money right now. And yeah, let's see what this week brings us. We are going to go back to having three videos this week. So... Yeah, baby, grind time. Make sure to follow me on all my social medias. I leave it all linked below in the description box. I love you guys so much, and I will see you on my next one. Peace.